other guy trying to blaze the trail of his own Mac is Stetson Lawrence, and he gets a rematch here in round number two. Yeah, I got to talk with Stetson a little bit about it. He was excited to have another shot at this bull, and Stetson can get the job done. You know, we, we've seen it with this guy. The only thing, sometimes he gets a little raised up, and he doesn't give up on a ride ever. But you see him get behind, and his rope will pop out of his hand. He gets a lot of pressure put on his hand sometimes. We talked earlier in the show about Derek Kolbaba's struggles with inconsistency. Stetson Lawrence, to further your point, has had his own struggles. I mean, we've seen a guy win events. Remember Thackerville, 2017, up against some of the best bulls in the business. He scored 92 and a quarter on Cochise, right? The money bull for years on this tour. But it's the steps in between sometimes that he seems to struggle with. Yeah, and a lot like a lot of the other guys, injuries have been a part of that inconsistency. They, they've played a big factor. And Stetson, for me, when he can really focus on every jump and, and not put himself in a bind of thinking about too much about a direction, that's when he's at his best. But that really works for everybody, too. You'll ride him all day long, buddy. In I don't want to say years past, but at other events and on different telecasts, you've often talked about his rope position and how sometimes he hasn't found a consistent spot for that. Explain why that matters a lot to a bull rider. Well, you need something consistent there, and it's got to be a consistent anchor for you. A lot of times you don't need your bull rope very much throughout the course of the ride when everything's perfect. But if you get a little bit away from center, you've got to have that anchor. And your bull rope has got to be tight enough that it doesn't come with you. It has got to stay put and give you a home base to get back to every jump. And we're seeing Stetson, it seems, put a lot of work into prepping this wrap aboard the Tickler. The other thing that I've always found fascinating in my 15 years here is that, you know, we were just on the East Coast where it snowed nonstop in Manchester. Now we're out here in sort of the damp, cool weather of California. How you rosin your rope matters depending on the conditions sometimes. Yeah, but the stuff these guys use this day, man, they get... Keep riding! Keep hustling! Go ahead! Yeah! Keep going! Keep going! Right! There you go! And we were just treated to Stetson at his best, making the tickler look ever so easy. Yeah, and it should be a big score coming in, a really good score for Stetson here, because that was an aggressive ride. Still waiting on that score. It's 88, and we've got a new round leader. And look at Stetson's head. Look where his focus is dialed in for the entire eight seconds. He never loses sight of that bull. Round wins, ever so important in all these riders' quests to score season points. Lawrence in a perfect position to garner this round two win. Hey everybody, Matt West here. Thanks for watching the PBR's YouTube channel. Make sure you subscribe to catch all the top moments from the professional bull riders. While you're at it, make sure you download the Ride Pass app and catch all of the PBR action today.